the thrilling adventures of Loveless and Babbage, the mostly true story of the first computer. Oh my god, this is the greatest book ever! I went in expecting a stylized, lightly exaggerated history of two flawed and tragic geniuses central to the history of modern computing, but Thrilling Adventures of Loveless and Babbage is that and so much more. This is messy history that feels so much more real and true because of the messiness. The author certainly bends the truth in the comics, but each comic contains footnotes that make it perfectly clear what the exaggeration is based on and why. The author delves into primary sources that are packed with scathing Victorian humor, pettiness, and passive aggression that paints Loveless, Babbage, Byron, Dickens, Darwin, and more as flesh and blood people, farsighted visionaries, yes, but also people who dominate the conversation at dinner parties or write blowhard op-eds, people who get their egos bruised, people who you can relate to. And not only that, but a world you can relate to, as so many similarities are shown with not the technology of the time, but our feelings about technology and progress. The world goes on at a smarter pace than it did when I was a young fellow. Why, sir, 40 years ago, the looms went slowish and fashions didn't alter quite so fast. It's this steam, you see, that has made the difference. It drives on every wheel double pace, and the wheel of fortune along with them. And through reading this book, I'm looking at the present through new eyes. We are absolutely living in the science fiction future of 1844. Here is a satire from that year making fun of the idea that machines could ever write novels. I defy you to tell me that there are not notes of modern day criticisms and compliments of AI in this parody. It is with much pleasure I bear testimony to the great usefulness of your new patent novel writer. By its assistance, I am now enabled to complete a novel of the usual size in the short space of 48 hours, whereas before, at least a fortnight's labor was requisite for that purpose. Mr. Babbage's patent novel writer produces capital situations, ornate descriptions, a good tone, sufficiently unexceptionable ties, and a fund of excellent yet accommodating morality. Lord W. has now nothing more to do than to throw in some dozen of the most popular works of the day, and in a comparatively short space of time, draw forth and spick and span new and original novel. Lord W. would suggest the preparation of a patent thinker to suggest ideas in which he finds himself singularly deficient. More than just humor, more than just history, this is a story of friendship between kindred spirits. It will amuse you, it will tug at your heart, it will intrigue. This book is phenomenal. My only criticism is for the publisher. Why is this book so hard to find? If your book is selling out, you need to make more copies. Are you allergic to money? What is your problem? But for the rest of you, find this book, go out, and buy it. Do it.